Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mama had asked me if I wanted to join a fall collab um, and to pick something fall. In the fall, Jim and I like to eat pot pies for dinner. And we usually eat the Marie Callier pot pies. And if you've ever scanned them to find out how many points there are, there's 15 points per serving. And there's two servings in this pie. And I eat the whole pie. So that's 30 points. And so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that anymore. So we're not gonna eat that pie anymore. I'm gonna make the pie that I found from the Weight Watchers app, although I've tweaked it a little bit because there were things in it that I didn't really like. So I kind of changed it to make it something that I like. So we start off with um, our utensils that we're gonna need for cooking. And I just have a wooden spoon in my chicken. And then these are the cups we're gonna put them in. And then I'm gonna measure it out in half cup servings. And I don't know what I got this out for, but I got it out. Oh, for the crescent rolls. I knew that I'd remember. <laughs> So anyway, I have one and a half tablespoons of butter. It says five teaspoons, but I went online and I found out that it's just a little hair over a tablespoon and a half. That's just easier for me. And then I have uh, also two ounces of, it's supposed to be fat-free, uh, low-fat cream cheese. I couldn't find low-fat cream cheese. So I bought a third less fat cream cheese, which is six points. But the recipe online calls, says it's five points. So this is a point more. And then I have one and a half pounds of chicken breast, boneless. You can use chicken thigh if you'd like. I'm not a dark meat eater. I like the chicken breast instead. And what I do is um, I cut them up into bite-sized pieces. And then um, I marinate them while I, usually what I would have done is I would have cut the chicken up and then put it the marinade in it and then chopped all this other stuff up. But since we're filming, I, I got it prepared ahead of time. I don't really keep it in the refrigerator, just as long as it took me to chop up the other stuff is as long as I would marinate it. But I put like a tea, uh, teaspoon of the Laurie's seasoned salt and a teaspoon of the garlic salt and two tablespoons of the zesty Italian by Kraft. Mix it together and just let it set. And then I did chop up two cups of celery, two cups of carrots, one cup, I didn't chop the onions, I bought frozen onions, it's just easier, but you can chop up a regular onion. And then um, you're supposed to put peas in it. I don't like peas. So I substitute in corn. If you have peas, it's four points. Um, I'll show you on the recipe because I did write out the recipe at the end. But um, I'm using corn, so it's five points. Um, you're supposed to use three and a half cups of low sodium chicken broth, which is, I use the Swanson. Um, I've got the low, 33% less sodium. Uh, it did, when I scanned it, just showed the same amount of points. So that's what I used which was almost the whole thing. I think I probably got about this much left. I probably could have used it, but I didn't. And then it asks for a quarter cup of flour. I don't use regular flour. I use Wonder Flour because it doesn't, you know, stick and gel up. So I measured out a quarter cup of that. And then you're supposed to have low fat, uh, reduced fat crescent rolls, which my Kroger's doesn't have reduced fat crescent rolls. So I bought regular crescent rolls. If you find the reduced fat, they're 27 points, but this one was uh, 32, so it's a difference of five points. So the total, if you do it with the peas and the low fat, the uh, low fat crescent rolls, uh, it would be a seven point dinner for the turkey pie, but uh, or chicken pie rather. But if um, you use my recipe, it's going to be. A little over nine, so I, I counted it as nine and a half points. So we're gonna start, I'm gonna go over to the stove and I'm gonna start with the chicken. And um, I'm gonna use half of the butter right now. Just to get it going. I usually use olive oil, but I, you know, when I do my chicken, but sorry. Um, but first, for some reason it said to use butter, so I thought I'd try the butter and see how that goes. Maybe it's to make the, the broth a little thicker or something, I don't know. I'll do it like they say, but in the future I might tweak it. Jim wanted to know if this was a chicken pot pie or a Weight Watchers chicken pot pie, and I told him it was whatever he wanted it to be. He wasn't impressed. Oh, I'd like to get the pan hotter, I should have waited. I usually get the pan hotter before I put the chicken in. So, um, once again, thank you, Kim, for including me on this. I was looking for something a little less fattening, and like I said, we eat a lot of um, 
we eat a lot of pot pies in the summer, in the winter and the fall. And chili, but she already gave it, already gave you the chili recipe, which is very good. If you haven't got it, go on Kim's site and look for her uh, chili recipe because it is delicious. And what I do with that is I make a whole big batch, a batch of them, scoop them out in little glass containers and put them in the freezer and then I pull them out when I need them. So we'll see if this is, yeah. You hear that sound, in Japan is hot enough. Okay, I'm gonna brown this up and then I'll be back. It's probably gonna take me, I would say probably about five, five to seven minutes. So I will be back. Okay, I, I cleaned the dish because you want it with raw chicken, make sure you have a clean dish. So I wash the dish in the meantime. I'm gonna put the chicken back in here. I'm not a very organized cook. I never claim to be, so <laughs> just so you know. I'm gonna turn your heat down a little. And you're gonna add the rest of the butter. I moved that dish. There you go. And then you're gonna add the rest of your vegetables that you've already prepped. The onions. I put corn on the recipe. I made a mistake. It was supposed to be onions. The corn comes later. And then the carrots. And mix it together, and we're going to simmer this for about five minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, um, I've got the vegetables, they're soft, and I'm going to sprinkle the flour in now, and just kind of stir it in. And then once I get it somewhat stirred in, so it doesn't clump on me, I'll add the broth. Like I said, you can use regular flour, but I, I find it clumps more. And then you just pour your broth in. Oops. And you want to bring this to a, a boil. So I'll be back when it's boiling. To a boil now, so I'm going to simmer it for five minutes. So we got. I'll be back at 4:04. Okay, now I'm going to put the cream cheese in. Kind of incorporate that in. Oh, it breaks up pretty easy. And then add the corn, or peas, if you're going to use peas. I don't like peas, so I'm putting corn in. And then you have to let this simmer for eight minutes, so I'll be back in eight minutes. Well, as you can see, I had to switch the pan because the other pan wasn't going to be big enough. So I'm going to add the chicken now. And you just want to keep the chicken until it gets hot. So I'm going to give it, like, three minutes and then I'll be back to scoop them into the dishes and see how it goes. Okay, I was supposed to put a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm not really big for seasoning. I, I like to just do it afterwards when you're eating it so you can figure out how much you want to add to it if you do. And I think you probably should have used the regular flour because it didn't really thicken up like I hoped it would do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop out a half a cup and then uh, put some liquid in it. and then put them in the cups. Um, I did two bigger ones, these are for Jim. Jim will just eat the bigger ones, I'll eat the smaller ones. And I'm gonna keep them in the refrigerator, I think you can keep them in the fridge up to three days. So one for each day. So uh, I will get back to you when I'm putting the crescent on top. Okay, so you just put them on, you can do it, you can drape them over the side, I'm just trying to put them over the top to make it look a little more like a pie. And then you just put them in the oven for 11 to 13 minutes. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, they're done. I didn't want you to see me taking them out of the oven because that's a sight to see. But I think they look pretty good. And I'm going to get it all set up and I'll have you watch me while I taste test it. Okay, I'm ready to start my dinner. I have my side salad, which is zero points, which is my three or four different kinds of lettuce. I have cucumbers and cherry tomatoes. I have my cup of tea. I have my pot pie. For dessert, I'm going to have a scoop of Halo van Vanilla Bean Ice Cream, which is two points. And I have one tablespoon of caramel syrup for three points, so it's a five-point dessert. But if you'd rather, you could cut up an, a green apple, 
and pour the syrup over the green apple instead. I'm going for the ice cream. Um, so the, the dinner is, the, the pot pie is eight and a half points. I told you nine and a half at the beginning, I was wrong. It's eight and a half points for the pie. The salad is zero. I'm gonna use two tablespoons of creamy roasted garlic dressing from Bolt House. It's only one uh, smart point. And I'm gonna have a cup of tea. So my whole dinner is eight and a half for the pie, one for the um, salad, so that brings it to nine and a half, and five for the dessert, so it's a 14 and a half point dinner. Um, you can obviously cut it down if you don't have dessert, but you know, I'm gonna have dessert, it's Sunday, I'm gonna have dessert. Or you can have an apple and that would cut it down by three points. Or you could do it the way they want you to do it and that would cut, cut it down even more. But this is good because even at, how much did I say it was? Eight, nine, five, 14. Even at a 15 or 16 point dinner, you still have 14 points for your lunch and your breakfast if you're on a 30 point uh, menu. I am on a 36 point menu, so I, I can eat this. So let's, oh, I should put my napkin on. Let's try not to be so uncouth and see how it tastes. It's very hot though, I'll tell you that. Get some chicken. Very good. Pat myself on the back. This is very good. I really like it a lot. I even think Jim will like it. So hopefully you like the recipe. Thank you, Denise, for being my cameraman. And I want to thank um, Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mama for letting me be a part of this. And then listed down below is everyone else that's in the fall collab. Not everybody's doing a cooking video. It's just supposed to be something fall related. I pick cooking because I like to cook. I don't have any other hobbies other than YouTube. So um, thanks for watching. Give a big like, subscribe, share, and comment. And check out the other channels because I'm sure they're, they're a lot more interesting than mine. So I'll talk to you guys on my next video. Okay, here's the recipe. Um, the only difference is if you use low fat cream cheese, it's five points. Um, I use the half less fat cream cheese, it's six points. And I use the regular crescent roll for 32 points, but if you can find the reduced fat crescent roll, it's 27 points. And um, this is the recipe and how to do it. I think I told you at the beginning of the video it was nine and a half points for the uh, dinner, and it's really only eight and a half. But if you use the substitutes, if you don't use the substitutes, if you use the original, it's seven points. And uh, this is what I've been doing so far. Hopefully it turns out.